So these boys kind of got their start with the blessing from Von Karman. And they were originally known as the Suicide Squad because they did a lot of this stuff on campus. They were, you know, creating rocket fuel and having occasional classroom fires and explosions and were eventually kicked off the campus. We like to say they were invited to leave Caltech. The group of four very quickly got the name of the Suicide Squad because they were doing these experiments originally on campus to test these rocket engines. And several times these led to explosions. And uh, the, one of the stories that my dad used to tell is one time the, uh, the rocket engine exploded instead of running smoothly, uh, and a piece of the, the rocket nozzle flew uh, right past of where, where he should have been sitting at the control panel. It actually missed his head. Um, but indeed, it, they, these were very dangerous experiments, and so the, the phrase suicide squad is totally appropriate. In the 1930s, down in Pasadena, California, they were doing rocket testing actually on Caltech. And when you're dealing with things like red fuming nitric acid and things that are toxic, you could kill people. So faculty members, you can't tell them what to do, but you can't tell them where to go. They said, hey, if you're going to do this stuff, go up into the hills and work there. They came up here to the Arroyo, just a few hundred yards from where we are, and there's nothing here. You know, it was, back in those days, there was a lot of what there is today, brush and dry sand and rock. And it proved to be a perfect place. There wasn't a lot of housing, so they were able to set up shop and blow stuff up here all day long. It was Halloween, 1936, and they were hiking down the rocky trail to history. In addition to Molina, Parsons, and Foreman, Apollo Amos Smith, another graduate student, would join the suicide squad and be key in their future accomplishments. The singular image of five well-dressed young men laying relaxed around the first rocket propulsion test in Arroyo Seco on October 31st, 1936, well deserves to be added to the pantheon of pioneers of science caught in the act of brilliance in history making. Though few know the image, it is iconic nevertheless. These gentlemen rocketeers, on the verge of their first test, take the time to relax they could have been asleep, they were so comfortable in their element. These would be the origins of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The test had been a symbolic success, but a crippling blow beyond their control struck the team. They were out of funds. 